you look back in history, you actually see examples of what works and what doesn't. And in many cases where the government takes on the role of being the parent, the government gets larger and larger and larger and freedom gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And in a constitutional republic, which there's no doubt about a constitutional republic, it is the hardest form of government to maintain. It takes more work, more effort. Because, because the people are the ones involved. The people have to be involved. The, the people have to hold leaders accountable. The people have to uphold the, the values that they want. And, and so no doubt a lot of involvement requires a lot from people. But when you have that, you have much more freedom. And, and you have the freedom to pursue dreams without the government telling you what your dreams are or what you can and can't do. You have the freedom to be prosperous and be rewarded for that. So you find that freedom and prosperity go together. The more government control you have, the less freedom and prosperity in any nation. The family takes care of the family. The more the church operates inside the church, which doesn't happen in every nation in the world, but the more the church just says, you know what, let's just take care of theology, what happens in the church. And by the way, there's all different kinds of denominations, and oftentimes they argue about what is true and what's not true. Well, if churches want to argue about that, that's fine as long as it stays between churches and doesn't come out and make government determine what's true and what's not true. If churches stay in churches and then government says, let's just lead the people, we have certain parameters of how we operate, when they all have jurisdictions and stay within those jurisdictions, in a constitutional republic, you can maintain freedom very well. But a lot of other nations haven't, haven't really respected the jurisdictions, the boundaries of those institutions, and therefore they haven't enjoyed freedom like traditionally America has known in being a very free nation. And so this comes from an understanding of not only knowing what the different forms of government are, but the different jurisdictions of government. And if you start mastering that, then you start understanding the best way to have the best government that blesses the most people, benefits the most people, and gives the most freedom.